Today's talk is going to be about modern continuous integration and delivery. Okay, and we're going to uh, start right into the session. So continuous integration and delivery. The, um, what do you want to achieve? We want to achieve a uh, we want to achieve fast and rapid release cycles. Okay, we want to be able to build and and uh, and and release our software and do it very very fast. But doing it fast is not enough. We also want to do it uh, without mistakes. Um, in other words, we want to be efficient in our delivery, and the end result is obvious. We want to be able to provide our software to the users uh, as soon as possible and have the development process um, uh, be as efficient, as efficient as possible. So what do we need in order to achieve that? I'm going to talk about the tools and the processes that we're going to use in order to, um, to, to achieve this goal. So in the heart of your continuous integration environment is your CI server. Okay, So you have your Jenkins installed. Um, and you know managing all of your builds and uh, and and everything else, but having a powerful and strong um, CI server is not enough. You also need a powerful binary repository, which is Artifactory, and um, you know having Artifactory and Jenkins um, 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 you know integrate together is the the, fir uh, the, the first thing that we uh, want to do and want to achieve. You know in order in order in order to achieve um, in order to achieve uh, that goal. OK, so having uh, Artifactory as a strong binary repository in your CR server, it's going to um, um, uh, gonna give you a few things. First of all, your builds are going to run very, very fast, because Jenkins is going to resolve your dependencies during the build from Artifactory, and it's going to give you, um, uh, you know, uh, fast builds. The second thing is uh, you're going to have a local repository storing your binaries, storing your build artifacts. And that will enable you uh, easy access to your binaries um, after the build uh, is done. The next thing is um, release and promotion capabilities provided by Jenkins together with Artifactory. Okay, you want to be able to um, easily have a release process, which I'm uh, later on going to talk about and describe it. So this is the next thing that you're, go you're going to get, as well as promotion capabilities. Okay, so promotion is the ability to take your binaries, to take your software products and have them moved from one phase to another, from development to QA to staging and eventually to production. And uh, the way Artifactory uh, helps you achieve that is by having, uh, enabling you to promote your binaries from one repository to another. Okay? Actually moving them from one repository to another will enable you, um, um, you know, easy and effective control over your binaries with privileges and, and everything else uh, related to that. Um, the next thing that this you know, combined um, um, Artifactory and Jenkins together is going to give you is build information stored in Artifactory and linked into your binaries, OK? Because we know, uh, as I said, Jenkins is the center of your um, continuous integration env environment. It contains all of the information, the system properties, the environment variables, all the data related to the builds, the dependencies, everything is there. So you want to have Jenkins deploy all of this info information into Artifactory together with the binaries, enabling you la later on to look at the binary and then see all of the data related to its creation and you know, do it in a bi-directional way in order to have you know, this information is important for you for, to, uh, later on to, um, you know, to control your binaries. And the last thing is distribution. Okay? At the end of your development cycle, you either want your binaries to be deployed on a machine or in other cases, depending on the type of your software, to have it distributed to the world, to your community. Okay, so distribution and uh, a way to deploy your artifacts easily from Artifactory is also something that you know um, can help you um, achieve the goal of effective uh, continuous integration and, and delivery, because Artifactory has an effective way of integrating with the uh, with the, with the Bintray, the today's leading distribution platform, uh, to get your artifacts. Uh, out of the world. So um, the next thing uh, we, I want to talk about is after we describe exactly what we want to achieve, I mean, what, the, um, what we're going to achieve by uh, having Artifactory and Jenkins together, let's talk a, li a little bit about the binaries uh, lifecycle, OK? Because at the end of the day, we're developing and the, out the outcome are binaries, OK? so. Um, so, okay, so what, what, what is the life cycle of, uh, of binaries? So first of all, we build them, okay? We want to keep building snapshots again and again of the binaries until we are satisfied with a specific snapshot and we want to make a release out of it. So we keep building snapshots until we are satisfied. And then, once satisfied, 
we want to have a release candidate, okay, we want to build it, and that's, um, in a minute, we're going to show how it's done from, from Jenkins. And then, once we have a release candidate, we want to stage it. Okay, we want to put it in a staging environment, in a staging repository in Artifactory, so that it can be verified to know whether it's good to be released. And once verified, we wanted to release it, release the, bin the binary to production, and eventually distribute it or deploy it to uh, the production machine. So that's the basic life cycle of, of a binary. Okay? Now, I want you to look at the second step. Okay? Once satisfied, build the release candidates. Okay? How do we do that from Jenkins? Okay? So basically, um, Jenkins, uh, with the Artifactory plugin, provides a release um, uh, a release platform, a release feature, which is going to do uh, the following for you. So first of all, once, after you decide you have a release, you go to the release staging and then activate it. And then what's going to happen is Jenkins is going to check out your sources, and then um, it's, um, uh, it's going to uh, change your um, snapshot version into a release version, and then run the build, and then deploy to Artifactory, create a tag or a branch or both on your, um, uh, on your SCM, um, and then commit them uh, with the release uh, version. And then, once that is done, it's going to change the version again to your next development version, okay? making it ready for you. And then, um, uh, once that is done, commit uh, the new version to your uh, SCM. So basically, you have the whole you know, release process being taken care of for you um, by Jenkins, and have at the end of the day, you have everything you need. You have in, a, um, in your desired repository, in your release repository, in Artifactory, you have the release binaries, having all of that process uh, done for you. So now we're going to see it, uh, all of it in action. So. So here we have Jenkins. I created a job, um, a Jenkins job. In this, in, this, in this case, it's a Maven job, but it could also, also be a Gradle job. Or, um, and I'm going to show you the job configuration. So here we have our sources downloaded by the job from the source control. And uh, we have the Artifactory release management enabled here, okay? So that we'll be later on uh, able to, um, to do the release. What else we got here? We have the uh, resolution repositories from Artifactory for our snapshots and releases, okay? So that we know we're making sure that during the build, dependencies are resolved from Artifactory for, um, for enhanced performance. And of course, the target repositories for us to be able to deploy the um, artifacts to the binaries to Artifactory. Okay? Now, once that is done and configured, let's run the build. And the build is running. And let's look at the build log. So here's the build log. We're already in the test phase. And there you go. In the log, you can see artifacts deployed to Artifactory, all of those. And as you can see, all of them are with snapshot versions because we're building a snapshot. OK, great. So I'm continuously building my snapshots. Now I want to do a release. OK? So as I showed you earlier, now let's go and release this version. So here I have the Artifactory release staging, and I get to the UI. As you can, as you can see, it's already detected my current version, a 3.5 snapshot. It's automatically suge suggesting my release version and my next development version, which is obviously 3.6 dash snapshot. And I can also create a branch here and create a tag. In this specific case, I'm not going to create them. And also, I'm selecting my release repository on Artifactory. It's obviously, I would like this to be a different repository than my snapshot repository, because this is a release candidate. Okay? And 
Now I'm running the build again. This time, okay, going again to the build log. This time, I'm going to have released artifacts deployed to artifactory and all the other steps in the SDM done by the, by, by the Jenkins. Okay? And there you go. You see, all of the artifacts now are released. OK, let's, let's go on. So we have a release candidate. We put it in a release repository in Artifactory. The next thing I want to do is to have it um, verified. And then once I'm satisfied with it, I want to promote it. Now, I want to promote it to a different repository, okay, which is a staging, uh, which is a, um, let's say it's a production repository, which has different privileges. Okay? In that repository, we'll have only artifacts which are ready, which are actually released. So to do that, again, going back to the Jenkins UI and clicking on this button, and here I'm in the promotion page. Okay? So basically, I'm saying again, promotion is taking my artifacts, all of my build artifacts, and, and moving them from one repository to another. Okay? So here I'm, I can add a comment, and then again, I'm going to select a release repository. In this specific case, I'm choosing the same repository, so nothing, uh, um, you know, the artifacts will not be moved to a different repository, but you can choose here any repository that you choose that you pre-configured it to be served, you know, to be used as a production repository. And done. That's it. Fast and easy. Artifacts have been promoted. Now let's say I want to distribute my um, my artifacts, my build artifacts. I want to share them with the world, okay, with my community, okay. So what I'm going to do next, again from Jenkins, go and click here, and now I can push them to Bintray. Bintray is today's leading distribution platform, allowing everyone to download my binaries, okay, and. Um, so what, I'm, what I can do is I can use a descriptor file um, that contains all of the information needed for Bintray uh, deployment, the Bintray repository, the version, et cetera, et cetera. And that artifact um, uh, can be saved in my source control with my sources and deployed to Artifactory with, a, with, with our artifacts. And my next option is decide that I don't want to use it, and I want to add all of these attributes, all of these Bintray properties manually. And clicking on this button will publish them um, to Bintray. So just a quick look for those of you who are not yet using Bintray. So I just browse to Bintray.com, and here, you know, it's a, uh, you know, Social UI enable everyone to look at my um, at my artifacts. Um, so here, I have my uh, my package, and inside this package, I can see all of my versions. In this specific case, only one version. And you know, um, going into this uh, version, I can see the artifacts, having to download them, and that's how. You know, we managed to create an effective uh, continuous integration and delivery uh, from development to, um, to deployment to, uh, to production to eventually uh, releasing and distributing those, um, um, uh, those artifacts. Um, that's it. I believe, I believe I'm out of time. So if you guys have any questions, then I'm still here. You can you know, feel free to approach and, uh, either to the JFrog booth or you know, just catch me. And uh, feel free to come up with any questions or, uh, or things that uh, you want to know. That's it.